Tesla is about to make its biggest gamble yet, not on speed or technology, but on the future of the entire EV market. The 2026 Tesla Model Q isn't just a new electric car, it's a high-stakes move that could redefine how EVs are priced, built, and sold worldwide. If you want to understand why this decision could either strengthen Tesla's dominance or expose its biggest risk yet, subscribe to Four Wheel and let's break down what this gamble really means. The Tesla Model Q is not just another addition to Tesla's lineup. It represents a strategic shift that could redefine the company's role in the global EV market. For years, Tesla has dominated through premium positioning and technological leadership. With Model Q, Tesla appears to be signaling a move toward scale, a deliberate step into a segment where volume, not exclusivity, determines who truly shapes the future of electric mobility. If the Model Q arrives at a more accessible price point, its impact on the mid-market EV segment will be immediate and disruptive. This segment is the engine of global EV growth, currently dominated by automakers like BYD, Hyundai, Volkswagen, and General Motors. Tesla's entry would force competitors to rethink pricing, feature sets, and long-term positioning, not regionally, but on a global scale. Tesla has already demonstrated its willingness to weaponize pricing. The Model Q could intensify an EV price war that many automakers are struggling to survive. When Tesla cuts prices, competitors often follow, even when it erodes already thin margins. Model Q may accelerate a market reality where profitability becomes secondary to survival, reshaping the economics of the EV industry. The impact of the Model Q extends far beyond price. If Tesla brings its battery efficiency, software integration, and manufacturing innovations into a lower-cost vehicle, consumer expectations will reset overnight. Features once considered premium could quickly become baseline requirements. Automakers relying on legacy platforms or outsourced software may find themselves unable to keep pace with a new industry standard. Tesla's greatest advantage lies in scale. The Model Q is likely designed from the ground up for mass production at unprecedented efficiency. This is not just about selling more cars, it's about lowering costs through vertical integration and global manufacturing leverage. In today's EV market, scale is not optional. It is the difference between long-term relevance and gradual decline. For legacy automakers, the Model Q represents a critical stress test. Many are still navigating the costly transition from internal combustion to electric platforms. High overhead, complex supply chains, and slow development cycles leave little room for error. Tesla Model Q could accelerate consolidation in the EV space, favoring companies that have already mastered efficiency and software-driven design. Yet the Model Q is not without risk, even for Tesla. Moving down market introduces challenges around quality perception, brand identity, and execution at scale. Tesla must balance affordability with the expectations attached to its brand. A misstep here would not just affect one model. It could reshape how consumers perceive Tesla as a whole, with ripple effects across the EV market. On the other hand, the Model Q could significantly accelerate global EV adoption. A more affordable electric vehicle from a brand as influential as Tesla could eliminate lingering doubts from mainstream buyers. Success here would not only benefit Tesla, but also push infrastructure development, regulatory support, and consumer confidence forward at a faster pace worldwide. This is why the Model Q is widely seen as Tesla's biggest gamble yet. 
It is a bet on volume over margins, efficiency over exclusivity, and the assumption that the market is ready for a mass market Tesla. If the bet pays off, Tesla strengthens its dominance for the next decade. If it fails, it creates an opening for competitors that are quicker, leaner, and more adaptive. 